Hey guys, Lima here. Well, my hair doesn't look that good, but that doesn't really matter because I just won Robin Hood Coins' giveaway for a Benjamin Franklin half, and that is very amazing. So today I also have some coin shop pickups um, that I was going to show to you, and I'll turn the camera around and show you what I got. All right, so the first thing I got was this roll of quarters. The owner of the coin shop uh, was smiling at me really big, wanting me to hunt this. He sold it to me for face value, so I thought that I would hunt it live and see if there's anything in there that he knows about. Yep, he definitely knew about that, probably. Whoa, that is... That's a proof silver quarter from 1962. I have no idea how he knew that that was in there. Wow, wait, okay. Is there any more? I do not think so, but I'll look through the rest of it. That is really crazy. Oh my goodness, guys. There's a W quarter in here, too. The 2019 Lowell W. I have no idea if he knew that this stuff was in. I didn't know if he knew that was in there. But I'm going to search the rest of this live. That is crazy. That's crazy. A 62 proof. And a 2019 W. You must have had one of those like roll crimper things. I don't know. But that is super awesome. He sold that to me for face value. Wow. That is amazing. Let's get into the other things I bought today. Alright, so I picked up this half dollar tube for uh, silver half dollars or other collectible half dollars for 65 cents. And I also got these four slabs of NGC. I didn't actually pay for any of these. My mom paid for the top one and the other three were gifts. I'll get into that later. So this is a 1953 cube of 25 cent. Jose Marti Centennial AU58. My mom went to Cuba. She really likes Cuba and she wanted to buy this for herself. So this is actually hers, but it'll be going in my collection in a safe place because she doesn't really have anywhere to put it. Next, I got these three penny W's that another customer of the uh, coin shop sent in through the coin shop to get submitted to NGC. And when the owner of the coin shop told him about my YouTube page, he wanted to gift these to me. And that's really cool. So I got this Reverse Proof 69 Red, first W Reverse Proof scent. That is only my second reverse proof and it's actually my first re reverse proof um, American coin and this proof 68 ultra cameo red first W mint mark scent then this MS 68 red first W uncirculated scent so really awesome 2019 W pennies they are my first ones I actually didn't even know these really existed and let's get another shot of this one. Very nice coins. And let's get into the next thing. All right, guys, so this next piece actually has a really cool story behind it. So there was another collector in the shop uh, shopping while I was there. And I was with my mom. And he asked, she was going to buy this one right here. So he asked her if she collected coins as well as me. She said no. So he gave me this. 
It is a magician's token from 1855. And it actually came from, according to him, David Copperfield's personal collection. He said that um, he was friends with David Copperfield and he was able to go through his collection. I don't know how or if it's true, but it has a really cool story behind it anyway, and it's from 1855. Really cool piece. Looks really cool. Let's get on to the next piece. All right, so I also got this right here. There's a couple things inside of it I'm gonna show later, but here I have the uncirculated 1982 birthplace memorial or birthplace commemorative for George Washington. 90% silver, made in the Denver Mint. I would probably say BU on this one. Still in its packaging, straight from the mint. You can see there's so much shine, it looks completely white right there. It's still got that cartwheel luster. Very, very nice. And I also got a 1971S uncirculated 40% um, Ike Dollar. This is my first Ike Dollar 40 percenter. And I also got the 1971S Proof version. Very, very cool. And you can see the side just completely white. And you can hear it too when I accidentally dropped it just now. All right, let's get into the final piece. All right, guys, the last thing I have to show you is this United States typeset. It was already used, but it is still in a really nice condition. You can see there's no really there's no breaks in the binding or anything. It's still a really good condition typeset. Obviously, it doesn't have any of the spots filled. But very nice. I'm excited to start filling this up. I already have a couple of the spots on the first page. Like I have both of those. I have that one. Uh, I have that one. I have I have that one, but it's a replated one, so I need one that is in better shape. I have that. I do not have that. I have that and I don't have that. And I don't have that, but I have that. Um, don't exactly know really, and I don't have any of those, but I am excited to start filling it up, and I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun, and it's going to be fun showing you guys as I fill it up as well. I would like to make a quick thank you to Andy, who gave me that roll for face value. This was really awesome, an amazing opportunity, and I'm going to be coming back soon, hopefully. My lighting is really dark, but, you know, I don't really care. So, thank you. I'll turn the camera around and end up the video. Alright, you guys, so that was my coin shop pickups number three. I had a lot of fun, and I got a really an amazing amount of new things that I can add to my collection. So, I'll see you guys next time. I don't exactly know what that's going to be. Hopefully a mail call, and I'll see you then. Peace.